welcome back. Uh, once again, this is your show, The Leaders Front. With us today is Mr. Samuel Karyuki Bogwa, uh, the former uh, councillor for Juja Ward in Kiambu County. He is also today working in the youth department, youth and sports department in the county government. And we are discussing today youth in leadership and youth and leadership. And we've had a few discussions today, Mr. Karyuki, and I think there are a few things that have come up that I think we can uh, still, you know, interrogate further yeah. and ask ourselves a few questions. So we had the incident, I think it's recently happened, where the IABC has raised a few concerns to say they expected a lot of people to register, but also the, the youth demographic. There are concerns that youth are really not taking the initiative to be involved in even registering for, for voting. So how will they run for positions? Yeah. If they're not even registered voters, there's, is, are they losing interest? What's, what's happening with the youth? It's unfortunate that uh, the youth mm -hmm. uh, are not uh, registering as voters. Mm -hmm. But uh, let's uh, rewind mm -hmm. a little bit. Eh? Okay. Several years ago, mm -hmm. the government of Uhuru Kenyatta promised the youth, uh, promised uh, class uh, one to eight mm -hmm. laptops. Okay. That generation is the one that's supposed to vote now. Wow, that's. That's interesting. Yeah, that's the generation that you want to take votes and vote for the leaders who don't deliver. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We have four generations yeah. that were promised laptops. That mm -hmm. is from 2013 to 2017. Mm -hmm. They never got the laptops. Mm -hmm. We have the following generation from two, 2017 mm -hmm. to 2021. Mm -hmm. They saw the, the other generation being promised mm -hmm. laptops and were not given. Mm -hmm. And then that other generation mm. also found those lies. Mm. How do you want them now to vote? So are they disillusioned with the political uh, establishment? Of yeah, yes. Uh, are they giving up on politics? They are not giving up, up on politics. Mm -hmm. They have given up on politicians. You okay, see, okay. The, the same characters that promised them that mm. are the same characters that want... Adding more promises. Adding more promises. Mm. Now, uh, 27, 2013, mm. We, we had some demonstrations. Mm. The same, same people who are doing those demonstrations mm. that led up to school being banned. So you remember there was yeah, this those, uh, period where schools were yeah, banned. Yeah. These are the generation that banned schools. <laughs> <laughs> Why did they ban schools? Mm -hmm. You ask yourself. Mm -hmm. Because the, the, the people in leadership, the ones that failed, the ones that they want us to vote for, mm. were leading demonstrations. Mm -hmm. So this one group mm. promised laptops. Mm -hmm. This other group was mm -hmm. leading demonstrations. Mm -hmm. What kind of leadership do they want? Are you saying we have failed our youth yes. as a society? Yes. Mm -hmm. No, no, not as a society. As, as the political, political leaders. The political leaders. But, but I would still look at it as a society because we as a society, we still elect these leaders. So have we failed our youth? And our youth, are they disillusioned? We have failed with our the, youth. With their leadership. We have failed our youth. Mm. Um, first of all, we have even given up on civic education. Mm -hmm. Civic ed education is just a name. Mm. Actually, uh, not many people can give you a proper definition of what civic education is mm. because it has never happened. Mm. Okay. It is the responsibility of IBC mm. to do continuous civic education, mm. to train people on importance of voting, mm. to train uh, the youth who are of age. Mm what it takes to vote. Mm -hmm. A philosopher usually, usually say that uh, uh, refusing to vote is voting for the wrong person. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we should train them to understand that. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. the 75% constituency of the youth. Mm -hmm. and that's big, that's huge. Yeah, that's, that's the biggest uh, chunk of our population. Mm -hmm. They don't care. Mm -hmm. They don't care. And, and that's, that's a sad state of affairs it's when, when the youths, you it's, know, it's so a, to say give up on, it's on a very sad, important it, aspect. It, it's, a, uh, it's a sad state of affairs mm -hmm. when our hit song mm -hmm. is above your heads. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Have you ever listened to that song? Mm -hmm. When it is starting, it's Kila Mtu Na Pombe. Mm -hmm. eh? mm -hmm. And then they say, aha, Kila Mtu Na Pombe. Mm -hmm. eh? ah, that's the hit. Mm. That's what they want. That's what they like. Uh, that's, that's what we have. That's what appeals to them. That's and who do we blame now? Uh, we, 
blame the society. We blame mm. ourselves. Mm. And what we are supposed to do is try to come up with ways to make sure that uh, we work on that. Mm -hmm. In a country where, where uh, uh, we boast of uh, 75 religion being Christianity, mm -hmm. And Christianity is a doctrine of morals mm. and moral values. If you go by the Ten Commandments, Ten mm. Commandments is just about morals. Mm. It's about moral values. Mm. The other, the other segment is Muslims. Mm. They believe in Ten Commandments. Mm. It's about morals, mm. and it's a country without morality. Mm. Mm -hmm. You see, mm -hmm. uh, where I come from, mm. very unfortunate. Mm. People believe that Kiskia still kopta bangi ajuja. Maybe you haven't heard of that. Juja kuna bangi, bangi ajuja. You 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 are saddened mm. at the you, state of affairs. At the state of affairs, and you mm -hmm. realize that your children will be growing from that Context. environment. Mm -hmm. So what what are we supposed to do? Mm -hmm. What are we supposed to do to make sure that uh, mm. those brokades mm. are not there? Mm -hmm for our youth to participate in leadership. Mm. Mentorship. Mm. Okay. Okay. You see, uh, by hosting me here, mm -hmm. I might not have a platform, mm -hmm. uh, another platform maybe to, to go and mm -hmm. uh, make sure that they understand the importance in the society. Mm -hmm. But s s s this kind of forums mm -hmm. are very important. Okay. And I hope we could get other mediums mm -hmm. to make sure that they reach uh, the, 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 the youth mm. from where they are supposed to be rich. Because if we don't do that, mm. what will happen is that we will lose a generation. Mm. Mm -hmm. And by losing that generation, we will lose ourselves. Mm. Because uh, when you are a parent and your child is lost, mm. you are also lost. Mm. Your legacy and what of you? Everything about you mm. is about that child. Mm -hmm. Everything about a parent mm -hmm. is about his child. Okay. And when that parent loses his child, mm -hmm. not through death, mm -hmm. uh, the zombie too, ikopale, zombie. Mm -hmm. Not productive. Not it. productive. Mm -hmm. You too, you are lost. Yeah. Mr. Karibi, you're touching on something I think we need to really interrogate further. Yes. When we talk about we have failed our youth as a society, yes. and the question comes the issue of role models. Do we have role models even in the political circles? And I'm talking about a culture where the people that find their places in leadership, the elders, so to say, are people who we can say are of unquestionable wealth. You know, there are questions around how they got their money and how they got where they are today. And those are the people that end up being voted by the society, so to sure. say. Uh, so the question begins, do we have role models today? And is that where the problem lies? Yeah. We do have role models. Mm -hmm. mm. Mother Karua mm -hmm. is a very brilliant woman mm -hmm. with, no, with no blemish. Mm -hmm. uh, but there are those who would say at one time she was controversial. In, yes. In one of yes. the yes. Yes. few years ago in her former. It takes. It takes. It comes at a time mm -hmm. when you must take side. Mm -hmm. Take a position. Take a position. Okay. So that's a good role model. Mm -hmm. Uh, we would have had very good role models for youth. Mm. Unfortunately, what we have is a Kinababu, you know, somebody who shoots someone on the head and as if nothing has happened. Mm -hmm. We have Mutula Kilonzo Jr., mm -hmm. very good. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, Sakaja, mm -hmm. very good role models. Mm -hmm. People who can, we can emulate, people who can look up to. Mm -hmm. Michelle Ikenda, mm -hmm. a very nice uh, young leader. Mm -hmm. We have leaders who we can look up to, mm -hmm. and uh, other than that, eh, mm -hmm. we have uh, we we are able to discern uh, mm -hmm. uh, good and uh, evil, mm -hmm. and we have seen the kind of leaders who are there and uh, what 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 kind of leadership they offer. Okay. So it's our responsibility as people who are voting to vote the right kind of leaders mm -hmm. and to promote those who are better, mm -hmm. because. If we were good enough, mm. we could have fronted somebody like uh, Sakaja for presidency. Yeah. It's not too early for the youth to leave? It's never early. Mm -hmm. We had a, a, a youth 
president in Madagascar just recently. He was a DJ, mm -hmm. and he did quite well. Mm -hmm. um, so it's not Ali. Mm -hmm. Kabira from uh, Congo mm -hmm. who started leading when he was a youth. Mm -hmm. So we have, we have those people who can mm -hmm. be able to lead. Mm -hmm. And uh, like I told you, mm -hmm. a leader is not defined by age. But then the question becomes then that uh, if the youth, as you say, uh, you know, should be leading, mm -hmm. or rather should be taking responsibility. Mm -hmm. You are saying that almost 75 of the voters end up being the young people. Then how, why can't the young people support one of their own? Are the young people their worst enemies? You see, young people are not their worst enemies. Um, a tree is swayed by the wind. Mm -hmm. the, wind uh, the, the tree does not sway the wind. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, a dog wags the tail. Mm -hmm. The tail does not wag the dog. The dog. Mm. Uh, the youth mm. are not the backbone of this country. Mm. The elderly are, mm. and it's human weakness mm. to walk on the trodden path. Mm. People don't make their own path. Mm. They follow the path, the path that has been made. Mm. So the, this, the space that has been set aside for the youth. Mm -hmm. And that's why I told you earlier, mm -hmm. it's about mentorship. Mm -hmm. If you want somebody to be in the position, actually even the Sakaja I'm talking about was mm -hmm. mentored mm -hmm. by when he was given a position by TNA mm -hmm. as the chairman. Chair, yeah. So he was mentored mm -hmm. to be where he is. Mm -hmm. Motura Kilonzo was mentored. Remember, mm -hmm. the senator for McQueen was not supposed to be Motura Kilonzo. Okay. was supposed to be Kevi. Mm -hmm. oh, the, the sister. The okay. sister. Okay. So you are mentored. Mm -hmm. You are created. Mm -hmm. You are molded mm -hmm. to become what you mm -hmm. you 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 become. Mm -hmm. But now you must offer yourself mm -hmm. for that purpose. Mm -hmm. If you are not, uh, it's it's for it, it's training for the willing. Mm -hmm. You can't be given that opportunity. You are not you are, you are not willing. To. Mm -hmm. uh, our responsibility mm -hmm. as leaders, as parents, mm -hmm. is to make sure that. Uh, uh, the, the the challenges that they are facing mm. are cleared. Mm. Uh, we don't have, have them anymore. Mm. If we don't do that, what mm. will happen is that we'll see them getting lost. Wow, that's profound. It's profound. So it's training for the willing. Training for the there willing. There is role modeling and there is hope for mentorship. Yeah, there is hope for mentorship. But it's training for the willing. For the willing. Wow, that's profound, Mr. Karaoke. You are joining us on uh, the Leaders Front on DGTV. Once again, you can connect with us on Facebook as well as on YouTube. And today we are discussing youth and leadership. And I think we are touching on very important aspects here. And I want to, Mr. Karuki, ask you maybe uh, an important question. When you talk about the challenges facing the young people today, there is a so-called pandemic yeah. of the aspect of drugs and substance abuse. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, would you want to touch on that? And yeah, I know you also yeah, do yeah, some yeah. work with the county government. Yes, yes. Are there some initiatives to help, you know, address these, these concerns? Like I told you earlier, mm. when you have a vacuum, mm. when you have a void, mm. there's always, uh, the, Bible, the Bible defines it properly. Yeah? Yeah. It says when, uh, when uh, a house, when uh, a person is gets saved eh, mm. and the house is swept properly mm. and the demons are chased away mm. and you, you keep the house empty, mm. the demons will go and come back mm. Mm. with uh, seven more mm -hmm. demons. These uh, more powerful than more the powerful than the previous <laughs> ones. Okay. Now, the community mm. created a void. Mm -hmm. The first thing that the community did eh, mm. is they neglected the boy child. Okay. So that was a mistake. That was a mistake. Over focusing on the girl child. It was not. It was. It was not a mistake on focusing on the guy child. Over overdoing it. It was a mistake mm. on leaving out the boy child. Okay. Okay. It was okay mm. to support the girl child. Mm. Okay, one hundred percent. Yeah. Girls have so many challenges than boys. Mm. You, you know. Yeah. Uh, you understand. Depending on the anatomy. Mm. Uh, but we left out the boy child. Mm. So the boy child was left seated. Mm. A vacuum was created. Wow. A void was created. Mm -hmm. So what did the, the devil do? Mm -hmm. Came uh, up with tracks. Mm -hmm. 
the void was filled. We created zombies. Mm-hmm. After creating zombies, what happened is that they don't think. Mm. They don't think. The budget, the, the budget of that boy is 300 shillings. Mm-hmm. So the sufuria in your house is worth 300 shillings. <laughs> it's settled. It becomes <laughs> a culprit <laughs> of survival. Mm. It's settled. Mm. So after creating that void, eh, mm. uh, we never followed it up. So we thought we were saving the girl. Mm-hmm. But who did the boy date? The empowered girl. The empowered girl. Mm-hmm. So what happened? Mm. A weakling of a boy, mm-hmm. lazy, mm-hmm. was left there mm-hmm. and he was taken over by the girl. Mm. So remember mm. in the Bible, mm. the weakness of Adam was found in who? In Eve. Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. The only the only way that Adam would be able to attack the uh, devil, the, the devil, devil, the mm. devil would, able to, would be able to attack Adam mm. was through Eve. Was through Eve. Mm-hmm. Now here, it's, the Eve is the one who is empowered. So Adam becomes the, the weakly. A- Adam is nowhere. Mm. Adam <laughs> disappears. Question. Okay. So Adam goes to the drugs. Mm. After going to the drugs, mm. because Eve wants to follow mm. Eve. Eve, remember Eve was weak. Mm. Eve follows Adam to the drugs. So mm. they both come back mm. drunk. Mm. 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 And we are all drunk. Mm-hmm. You, you are a pastor, you are seated there, you, are, you, you don't drink, you have never drunk. Mm. You don't smoke. Mm. You end up smoking. Mm-hmm. Not literally. Mm-hmm. You're also part of the... When you are, you, everybody in your family is going for rehab because of taking uh, bang. Mm-hmm. So you will go with them, yeah, just like as if you have a You are also patient. So um, that's the challenge that we are having, mm. that uh, drug abuse has infiltrated our society. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have made it known, mm. including th- these songs that are being uh, played on air, mm-hmm. very unfortunate. Mm. Uh, we have uh, encouraged Gengeton. Mm-hmm. I don't have anything against Gengeton, mm-hmm. but I have uh, everything against what they encourage. Mm-hmm. This lack of morals and ethics. Lack of morals and ethics. Mm-hmm. And that's what our kids are buying. Those are the role models. Those are the role models. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. So my question then becomes, you know, in your capacity as a county government, maybe that would be your level of influence. You could have suggestions for the national government, but maybe also as a county government, do you have any initiatives to try and address this, this so-called drug spender? Because it, it has made youths literally not able to take their place in leadership yes, in the society. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, as a county government, mm. like I told you earlier, mm. there's uh, uh, that much we can do. Mm-hmm. What you can do is uh, provide programs that can be able to assist mm-hmm. uh, the youth. Mm-hmm. But you can provide a program, but mm-hmm. you can't force people to take that program. Yeah. It's the responsibility of that person to to be interested in that program. So mm. your responsibility is to make sure that that guy mm. accept the program. Yes. And uh, that you do follow up, mm. but you can't force that person. Yeah. Uh, the county ca- women uh, county rep, mm-hmm. uh, women rep, that on your Mushomba had for started. Kambu, yeah, for Kambu, Kambu County, yeah. yeah, had started an, an initiative mm. for tr- uh, for drug rehabilitation, mm-hmm. which went. Uh, Quite well. Mm-hmm. Actually, the, the, the president opened it some times back. Mm-hmm. Our former governor, mm-hmm. Waitito, mm-hmm. had started a car sober. Mm-hmm. Uh, he did very well mm-hmm. in, in its initial stages because he, he, went, he took those people to our polytechnics for mm-hmm. handy job training. Mm-hmm. And uh, we have been trying, yeah. every time we have been coming up with new ideas to make sure that. Uh, Mm-hmm. We are trying to rehabilitate those people. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, when a person is a drug addict, mm-hmm. if that person is not willing to be rehabilitated, that won't happen. Comes a challenge. So our, our, our responsibility is not to make mm-hmm. sure that we get to the youth mm-hmm. before they get to mm-hmm. that stage. Mm-hmm. Unfortunately, mm-hmm. they are getting to that stage in high school. Okay, okay. So we have created a, a, a So lot the of crisis begins in those early teenage years, early teenage years. in high school in yeah. high school 
Mm -hmm. uh, but we are trying. We are mm -hmm. trying. We are creating new sports, sporting activities, mm -hmm. and we are trying to win them with sports. Mm -hmm. uh, sometimes we make it. Sometimes we don't. Mm -hmm. But as a county government, mm -hmm. we must be partnered with by the parents. Okay. It's a partnership. It's supposed to be a partnership. Okay. Because if it's not a, partner, a partnership, mm. what will happen is that uh, mm. uh, we'll we'll come for your kid mm -hmm. without your support. Yeah. There's nothing can be able to do about it. That's true. That's true. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. That's 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 interesting. Mm -hmm. Again, they may be moving on as well now because we we are talking about leadership, mm -hmm. and even within the political circles as well. Mm -hmm. So what, what do you think informs the youth? Because I want to touch on this because we are on an election year. Yes. And the demographic of youth has been, is always mentioned and maybe sometimes even taken advantage of, so to say, within political circles. But what, what do you think informs the youth? Euphoria. When, when they go to, to vote? Euphoria. Okay. Uh, the, that's, the, the that's, that's unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Mm -hmm. The youth of Kenya, mm -hmm. A big percentage have, uh, has refused to think. Oh, that's a sad, very sad, sad state of affairs. Very sad. Mm. They don't care. Mm. They want to go where people are going. Mm -hmm. Because you're going, we'll go together. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, the challenge with that is that we, get, we end up getting we end up getting people, mm. a middle class that doesn't know who they voted to, mm -hmm. who voted for. Mm. The youth who don't care who they voted for. Mm -hmm. And they don't know what that person is supposed to go and do. Mm -hmm. You get in a situation whereby you ask somebody, "Hey, mm -hmm. who vote? Eh, hey, who vote? Na mm -hmm. MCA wako ni nani? Eh, hey? MCA. Mm -hmm. Hey, atas kumbuki. Ani tagua nani? That person voted. Mm -hmm. But they don't take interest. He, he doesn't care. Mm -hmm. Yet that person is responsible for your kids mm -hmm. around the the community. You see, like I told you, mm -hmm. uh, politics is power. Mm -hmm. Uh, a, a politician is able to say that drug addict get uh, should get arrested. Mm. That I mean that drug trafficker mm. should get arrested. Mm -hmm. But you didn't care. Mm. Let me give you a good example. Mm -hmm. And pardon me, mm. because I will give you this an example. Mm. In Juja Ward, mm. uh, we voted for uh, Kalpesh. Mm. Kalpesh mm. does not live in Juja. Okay. Kalpesh mm -hmm. uh, doesn't have any investment in Juja. Mm -hmm. is, is, is this... Uh, what, what, what point are you driving at? Because you don't want to be seen to be attacking okay. Forget about a, let, let, a city let, leader in the office. But maybe what's your point? My point is clear. Mm -hmm. Let me put it this way. Mm -hmm. If you want to... Uh, the constitution is very clear eh? mm -hmm. about how, where you're supposed to buy, mm -hmm. how you're supposed to buy, mm -hmm. and... Uh, mm -hmm. So you're questioning the choices we make. When, when, the when youth make at, at that level no, of leadership. Not the youth. Mm. The challenge is yes, not the youth. We mm. are talking about drug abuse and drug uh, 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 mm. addiction. Yeah. If you want to fight that, mm. get the right leadership. Mm. Get a person who has a stake okay. in that community. Mm. What do I mean a stake? Mm. That person... They are part of that society. They are part of that society. If they have an interest. They have an interest. That person has a child in that society mm. who will be affected by mm -hmm. those drugs. So that person will fight those uh, drug trafficker okay. pass passionately. Mm -hmm. You're in the point. Uh, yeah. And anything about that community because I have a stake. Mm. You will take it seriously. You will take it seriously. Mm. But when you put a person in leadership mm. who doesn't have a stake, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That person won't care about the hospital in that area because mm. he will never go to that mm. hospital. That's and that's true. why our hospital are lacking medicine. Mm. Because every time uh, a person... <laughs> don't, 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 don't get me there, I'll get excited. <laughs> <laughs> I, know, I know you are, you are civil servants in uh, some extent, but you have a political history. Yes, so yes. So I know you are saying there is always that political inclination. So what, what, but I hear your point, I hear your point. What I'm trying to say is that mm. for us to fight this drug money, eh, mm. and... You being a parent, eh? yeah. get to know if that person has interest in fighting that. Mm -hmm. If the background of that person mm -hmm. is association with people who have been dealing drugs, mm -hmm. then uh, uhame. Mm -hmm. eh? Because it will be worse. Eh, in that place, mm -hmm. people will smoke kwa barabara mm -hmm. and will eat some 
ni hii kwa gari mm. kuna zingine zinawekwa hapa chini ya ulimi mm. and you'll be there mm. and you'll do anything mm. and after they get high mm. they'll beat you up mm. and rob you mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so people don't know the importance of political leadership mm. the youth have neglected to understand the importance of political leadership mm. political leadership is power mm. forget about registration mm. forget about represent and representation by itself is power mm-hmm. okay uh, when you represent 20 people mm-hmm. those people are looking up to you to you mm. that is power influence a lot of influence that's influence mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all gates will be opened mm-hmm. matiangi will see you mm-hmm. all pe- a person in a position of matiangi mm-hmm. will accept your appointment Yeah. Because you, you represent a, uh, when you are an MC. Mm-hmm. Forget about mm-hmm. uh, let us go to, the, to the lowest, mm-hmm. the member of the county assembly. Mm-hmm. He will give you audience. Mm-hmm. Age notwithstanding. Mm-hmm. US aid will give you aid mm-hmm. to assist those, those youths. Mm-hmm. Because of that title. Yeah. Doors will open. Mm-hmm. So uh, it's unfortunate because they say uh, power corrupts mm-hmm. and abs- absolute power corrupts absolutely. Mm-hmm. People get influenced when they get there mm-hmm. and they realize uh, they realize what they went there to do mm-hmm. is not what they end up doing. Mm-hmm. But if you stick to your guns, mm-hmm. if you can be able to achieve at least 25% of what you promised. 25%. 25%. Is that not quite a very low bar? It's a very low bar. Where are we at? If let, you are to ask. Let, let, let me let me tell you that's why the target. Let me tell you why I'm putting it at 25%. Eh? Mm-hmm. Uh, a member of the county assembly is not an implementer. Okay. He's a registrant. Uh, you re- register. Eh? Mm. You get the point. Mm. The implementer is the executive wing of the county government. Okay. Mm-hmm. A member of Parliament is not an implementer. Mm. Actually, CDF was removed from their hands, mm. and it was given to the committee. Even though he is still the patron, mm. he's not supposed to be an implementer. Mm-hmm. So, what if you are able in your mind mm-hmm. what you have promised your people? Mm-hmm. If you are able to deliver at least, even if it's 25 percent, mm-hmm. it will be noticed. Mm-hmm. The community will notice. Mm-hmm. Forget about CDF. Yeah. Even if you give a kid CDF. The kid will deliver mm-hmm. because t- CDF has structures. Mm-hmm. CDF is monitored by the national government. Mm-hmm. So i- even if you give a child, it will be delivered. Mm-hmm. But there are some things that won't be delivered by CDF, mm-hmm. 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 like rehabilitating the youth. Mm-hmm. There is no segment. Yeah, that's a more extensive. That needs a lot yeah. of partnership yeah. th- th- between th- the government. That's your own initiative, a yeah. follow-up. Mm-hmm. You're supposed to, uh, to, uh, to be the one who is making sure that mm-hmm. it is working. Yeah. You're supposed to, uh, you're, you're the one who's supposed to network mm-hmm. the police, the administration, and to make sure. D- did you know that uh, a member of uh, uh, parliament can recommend for uh, transfer of police? Okay. okay. And it's done. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If a member of parliament says, "Naya utalala apa kio police." Mm. Ah, you're transferred mm-hmm. in the morning. Through the legal means or wrong channels? Whatever channels. Mm-hmm. It goes straight, straight to the cabinet second and you're transferred. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So if you have a wrong police, a rogue policeman, mm-hmm. it's, you are able to make sure that that rogue policeman is not there. Mm-hmm. That's, that's amazing. So maybe still going back to the aspect of how better the youth, you know, how better opportunities, or how we can give better opportunities to the youth in terms of them being part of the leadership equation so that they're not just used as you know the the audience to clap and whatever because as you said many times what happens politicians will use the youth to mobilize them during the campaigns right now if you go out there in a campaign here it's the youth that are used to you know they'll be on the tracks there will be the mm-hmm. djs yeah. they'll be playing the sound then the question becomes when the leader is elected the youths are relegated to the back seat and now the issue is how do we get a, better involve the youth in the decision making processes because they get relegated immediately the campaigns are done you stand where you are seated okay 
if the youth if the youth want to be put aside mm. they will be put aside okay if you put me in your team mm. to campaign mm. i'll be there mm -hmm. even when you are okay there mm. so you're saying they should take responsibility and initiative if a, a person wants to use you mm. to, to 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 get where he wants to get yeah Make sure that that person uses you even when he gets there. Mm. It should not end with campaigning. It should not end with campaigning. Okay. How do you achieve that? Mm -hmm. By being there. Okay. You see, the, the youth have decided to be a bridge. Mm. You just walk on it and leave it where you crossed. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I would advise them to be sandals. Mm. You put me on, you walk with me wherever you will go. Mm -hmm. okay. If you go to parliament, I'll be there with you. Mm -hmm. So put pressure. Okay. And before, before, before you get into a campaign strategy with somebody, eh, mm -hmm. make sure you have an agreement mm -hmm. where you're going. See at the Takuwa ni kikulipa elf moja. Yes, kulipa utanilipa yu elf moja kila siku ni kufanyia campaign. Mm -hmm. Because... Uh, it's my time. My time mm. is supposed to be paid. Mm. Na pia after kunilipa, mm. utanipatia hii kazi. Mm. Mm -hmm. I want to start my own business. Mm -hmm. Have an agreement with the person you are supporting. Mm -hmm. Through and through. Yeah. Another thing, mm. don't be a follower. Mm -hmm. Be a leader. Okay. Don't be called. Un unajua kuna wenye uitua. There mm. are these people who, who like saying, mimi ni kuna watu wangu. Mm. Kuna ukona watu wako, uliza. Mm. <laughs> huh? Hauna watu wako. Mm. So wewe, mm. if you are a youth leader, mm. usikuwe watu wangu, mm. kuwa na watu wako. Yes. That's what is called leading. Influencing. Yeah, yes. Mm -hmm. And if you are invited, don't be invited by a political broker. Mm. Be invited by the owner. Mm -hmm. Be in the center where decisions are being made. Yes. Not in the periphery. Yes. Mm -hmm. And when you go there, mm. even if you are invited by the broker, when you go there, mm. make your presence felt. Okay. Okay. Let them say, mm -hmm. hey, na John, mm -hmm. lewa likuwa hapa. Mm -hmm. The contribution should be substantial and relevant. There, there, are, there are so many ways to be felt. Mm. Number one, mm. the simplest, mm. be smart. Okay. Be smart and dressed. Mm. Kingia tu hivi venyume ingia tu hapo. Mm. Eh? Mm. Na confidence. Ata usionge. Mm. Tu wasema, hey, na yula kijana wa suti lewa kwa hapi. Mm. Be smart. Mm. Mm -hmm. Interesting. If you are not eloquent, don't mm. speak. <laughs> people so might, how do you pass around your ideas? People might confirm you are foolish. You are, you are, foolish. Mm -hmm. you are stupid. Mm. So don't speak. Mm -hmm. Let your presence speak for you. Mm -hmm. Be there. Akisimama hako na suti yako simama. Mm. Ata uongei. Mm. Simama. Be there. Mm. Let your presence be felt. Mm. People will see you there. And people will always want you there. Mm. Mm -hmm. You don't talk. Mm. But people will always want you there because you have uh, made your presence felt mm. there. Mm -hmm. okay. Kuna mtu kwa church. Mm. Alikuja akaanza kuosha. Mm. Sahi ya mekua mtu mzima. Mm. Bado yopa tuwa ufagi wa osha. Mm -hmm. Sabu ya alienda kaka kwa kuwa? Kuwa. They never transition in the process. Kuna mtu alikuja kwa church. Mm. Akaka pale mbele. Mm. Akiwa na suti. Mm. Sahi ya ni elder kwa hiyo church na ajai yongea. Mm. Na ajai yosha. They are respected by their parents. Yes. That's interesting. Let me ask you something, Mr. Mm. Kariuki. Mm. You know, we are talking about, you know, to some extent we focused a lot on the political leadership. But yes. maybe I want to ask you because you are now more of a civil servant and a community yes, leader. Yes, yes. Are there opportunities for the youth to lead outside the political equation within the community? Yes. Are there forums and initiatives that youth can take advantage of yes. to, you know, to harness their leadership skills and be effective in their communities? Maybe you can share that with us. Yes. Uh, we were able to establish during uh, COVID-19 that uh, online businesses thrived. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How are they? How are they doing their businesses? Mm -hmm. They were done by young people. Yeah. So you just create your own territory. Mm. If no they refuse, no competition. If they refuse with your territory, mm. you create yours. Mm. Your own domain. Your own domain. Mm. They will come following you. Mm. So if online businesses were able to thrive, mm. it, it it is clear mm. that the youth thrived. Mm -hmm. People made a lot of money using Bitcoin. Mm -hmm. 
the cryptocurrency and cryptocurrency mm. youth made money mm. see waze waze mm. were invited later wakati mm. imeanza kuisha pesa mm. you get my point yeah you create your own territory mm. you define yourself mm. when you define yourself chema unasema chema chema cha jiuza chema cha jiuza mm. and it is told that when a child a young boy washes his hands clean mm. that boy is allowed to eat with kids mm-hmm. okay okay so there is room for for you to drive mm. this boda boda group that was in dagoreti mm. of young men eh? yeah they started their own circle mm. now they are landlords mm. they created they their own the, they own factors of they, they are land owners now mm. they created their own mm. domain, domain. Mm. you, you, you get my point I get you. so when 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 you are a youth mm. Uh, you keep good company mm-hmm. and you you you, you have ideas mm. it's easier for you to create mm-hmm. an environment where you'll be able to thrive wow that's 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 powerful mr kayuki yes. i think uh, that has been quite uh, quite 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 enlightening to yes. yes. you know just to understand the aspects of youth in leadership yes. and i'll be coming back to you just to give us our closing uh, comments as we end the show mm-hmm. but i want to thank you so much for joining us today and uh, being on this show Once again I'm, I'm your host Zach Wangi this is the Leaders Front on DGTV you can connect with us on Facebook and also on YouTube but before we close Mr Karuki very briefly mm-hmm. what would be your parting shot for youth in leadership maybe look at the camera there yeah. and what would you tell that young man who wants to aspire uh in this an election year yes what would you tell that young man maybe a parting shot for them you've been there before if you want if you, if you want to be in leadership that that wanting is enough Mm. that one thing mm. is enough it's a drive enough for you to get into leadership after getting there forget about resources people are the best and the major resource people are actually the preamble of our constitution says the power belongs to the people so w- the person you are looking mandate from is the people so you good you are set you are ready to go now when you go to the people present yourself as you are be charismatic be eloquent state your case properly and no you must be informed than an average person you must be informed you must be informed of what it entails to be a leader what it entails what you're supposed to do what you're supposed to, be, to deliver and finally make promises people have promises people have to be told what they already know so tell them they have roads tell them tell them because that's what the government supposed to do the government supposed to build roads so tell them they'll have roads it will be a responsibility to to lobby for those roads tell them they have medicine in the hospital make sure you will lobby for that tell them that's what everybody will be telling them actually all manifestos are the same odia manifesto na kenya manifesto yudia manifesto uh, this bottom up and this 6000 by raira are the same thing it's just that they are said differently so learn to sell your ideas proper to the people and that way people will buy what you sell so thank you very much god bless you and all the best remember youth uh, in, in 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 where i come from were called jaba and jaba is supposed to go and hunt and bring back to the people so thank you and god bless you Thank you so much. Those are wise words from Mr. Kabiyoki, a uh, one-time councillor for the Juja Ward constituency in Kiambu County. He's been our guest today on the show Leaders Front and we've had an enlightening discussion discussion on the subject of lead youth in leadership. Join us next time coming Friday at 5 a.m. on your channel DGTV. You can connect with us on Facebook and YouTube as well. Thank you for joining us today. Have a lovely day. <laughs>